All right, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Warren. We're live. Uh, we're talking about pizza, apparently, which is a reference you're only gonna get if you watched Swagula's show last night. I'm here with Eric Volgaris, chipping it, and Tice eighty-seven sixty-nine to play a game by rabbits for rabbits, inspired by bunnies and bunkers and watership down in apocalypse world. This is an apocalypse world hack about. Living life as a rabbit in the fast lane, maybe the, the slow <laughs> lane. Which lane would rabbits technically be in? I don't know. I don't know, but you also said bunnies and bunkers instead of bunnies and burrows. Oh, and burrows. I'm not, yeah. I'm, no, 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 don't correct you because bunnies and bunkers <laughs> sounds like the best game ever. Listen, so I'm just I've been that. infected. Like, My like brain has games. been infected by Borderlands because I want to oh, play yeah. bunkers and badasses. It, looks like, uh, it yeah. looks like they had an actual system going on for that one. Oh. Well, no, I, I was thinking. It uh, it's the DLC like, for Borderlands 2. So good. I was just gonna say that it'd be really cool to do uh, Fallout 4 themed, where we're rabbits. You somehow survived all the irradiation. We're coming out. Oh, you like? Oh, face, that like, can be a thing we can do. Stuff. We'll talk about that. We'll come back to that. All right, let's let's introduce everyone. You may not know them, although if you've if you've been on this channel for the microscope game, you will recognize Eric and Chip in it. And you may recognize Chippin' It as the voice of reason during the setup for my, I don't even know what to call it, Veer game. We'll see if that, that goes down. Currently looks like it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> I promise I promise to pay out of lore done in video, and uh, we'll see if that, that actually happens. All right, Eric. Eric Vulgaris. Hey. I heard yeah. that you are a Twitch streamer. Who uh, are you that, and what do you do? That rumor is true. Uh, is it? So, yes, so I am a part-time Twitch streamer, uh, primarily streaming uh, role-playing game content, uh, similar to Arthur. Uh, my best or most well-known type of content I do is a show called Once Upon a Game, where we play story games w which are typically GM-less, or, or they kind of like queer the player uh, GM kind of roles and responsibilities, um, as well as prep-less, and uh, kind of showing that you could. You don't need to sit and make a character or do all this crazy stuff to have a really good time. Which is specifically why I invented you to a show where there are both characters and GMs. GMs and not prepless. Yeah. Oh, I'm, hey, I'm not. A, I'm not saying that I don't like those types of games. I, I know. I just I, prefer to do I things ironically. Games. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you were launching a new show soon. Tell me more about that. Yeah. So I'm. Uh, so by early. 2016 so like january 4th i think would be the first day or the third whatever that sunday is um i'm going to be adding a once upon a game sunday edition as well it's my normal round of uh mondays and wednesdays only that will be instead of in the evening it would be sunday morning at nine and then i'll be launching an eric plays uh series where i'll be doing some uh video game content and what time do you normally stream during the weekday uh, right now, I stream um, Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 p.m. to midnight. And that's specific time, right? Yes, yes. So, so that's after when house. I stream. If someone wanted to watch your content immediately after watching mine, they could do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you would do that by Link. going to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Eric Vulgaris. Wow. Is that your name on the overlay? It's so convenient. Yeah, oh <laughs> wow. I know, Indeed. right? Chipping it. It's been so long. I heard you're also a Twitch streamer. Maybe in the future, something. Yeah, um, like you do some stuff on Swargalist's channel now, though. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of stuff for uh, Swarg in the past, but he's been so busy with his uh, viewer games, so I haven't gotten a chance to do that in a little bit, which I might end up doing soon. I was doing payroll on his channel, but just because it would only, it's like every week, it would be, all right, who wants to play? Me, Swarg, Virgil, and then... It'd just I know, be, it's rough. It's so it'd be a late. fallout of people not being able to actually play and do anything, so we're just like, maybe we should just I wait, really love playing else. on it, but it was super late. Yeah, that's my biggest issue, is like uh, doing stuff late on Twitch, because I work really early, and with changes to the work schedule and whatnot, I've been leaving the house at like 5.30 a.m. <laughs> every day, what? so it's hard oh. to stay up. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Well, if yep. people wanted to see stuff that you did, where could they go to find you? You can always follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash chippinit, or you can go to my Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash chippinit. Uh, 
I believe that's what it is. But um, is yeah. that? I just want to make sure that's spelled correctly. Chipping it is also on the overlay, correct? Yeah, it's my name. So convenient. Don't wear it out, Freddy. Excellent. You got any projects that are coming up for you that you want to share with us? Uh, one thing that I am working on is I wouldn't mind doing a more uh, informative... I, like, I want to build a campaign, whether or not it gets used. Who knows? But build a campaign from the grounds up and do it in multiple sessions. And my thought is, is if I get enough... Uh, before work done, I could stream it as a help to, hey, you're looking to GM, but you've never done it before, or you're looking for tips, some tips and tricks. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be building a campaign. Stop by. World Building 101? Yeah, yeah. got to do the yeah, tabletop building 101. thing, man. And, you know, if people are interested, they're interested. Um, the main idea is more to get them in a VOD format, but also stream, just because some people might like it live. Excellent. Tyson, a.k.a. Tice8769, my understanding is that you are our trying to become a Twitch streamer as well. Uh, yeah, I'm currently on the process of trying to figure out exactly what days are good for me. Since I'm probably going back to my kitchen job in the beginning of January, which is a 9 to 5 job, which is a pain in the butt. But if people wanted to follow you, they could do it at Tice8769 while you get ready to re release some content, right? Yeah, yeah, tw yeah, on Twitch. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. I'd... Sorry, I'm a little, a little, a little uh, tired. Um. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to see me on Twitch, you can see me at at Tice seven eight six, Tice eight seven six nine. Excellent. That's on the overlay, right? Like people could just look in the lower right hand corner of your name. You're looking at it right now. Well, I guess you're looking at your coffee, but. <laughs> All right, yeah. excellent. What kind of content might you be releasing? Um, the content I'm releasing is um, probably just um, at the beginning. I'll probably do a bunch of random one shots for a bunch of RPGs that I'm in love with. Also, I might do a little bit of streaming of Fallout Four once I get it for Christmas. That is super popular right now. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just wait until I can get into the Fallout. I, you know, I do on occasion crawl out through the fallout. No way. <sighs> no. I, I guess know. that... When I'm I there, guess. there's an orange-colored sky. <laughs> I just, you know, what what can I say? So I guess that we can call you a fallout boy? Uh, I, I, no. No, he went too far there. All oh, right, we're going. <clears throat> so we're going down swinging. Yeah, do do. Wow. Okay. I was gonna say we're gonna get the rabbit puns going, but really, well, let's get this hopping, because I'm so hopping to see you. Although I can see right now, some of you might want to leave, but I care it not. Uh, well, this is, he's just been planning all this. So yeah, I know. He's on off the cuff. I had to really prepare. I'm not good at puns, and frankly, they disgust me. So yeah, for your for you stream AP giving away all of his life goals, dreams, <laughs> promises to himself, just gone with all these puns. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. That's it. Yeah. For him, it's usually no pun intended. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about the Warren, and then we're gonna make some characters here for you. <clears throat> The Warren is a game about intelligent rabbits trying to make the best of a world filled with hazards, predators, and worst of all, other rabbits. While the rabbits in your games will solve some of their problems and learn some new tricks along the way, they are still bound by their anatomy in place at the bottom of the food chain. The Warren is primarily a game about survival and community. There are many creatures, humans included, that are bigger, stronger, meaner, or more numerous than rabbits. The seasons and the elements do not care that rabbits are only little things. Rabbits cannot hope to meet these threats head on. Only through speed, wits, and keeping a cool head can rabbits hope to avoid the dangers of the world outside their warren. So, <clears throat> if you want to pick this up, by the way, you can go grab it. Actually, I have no idea before I say this. Is it actually available yet? I know the Kickstarter is mm. done. Yeah, I don't know. That I don't available. know if it's on drive through yet, but yeah, I know yeah. the Kickstarter just recently got finished. Yeah, good question. Yeah, you know, normally I'm like, hey, I got the link prepared. I just say it real <laughs> quick, and then present. It's not. It's not available yet. Okay, it's not available yet. You should have kickstarted it. That's all I'm saying. 
shooting. It's all right. It'll be available soon. It'll be available soon. So, yeah. uh, is everyone here experienced with Apocalypse World mechanics? I know, Eric, undoubtedly you will be. Chipping it, Tyson? I dabble. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, Excellent. Apocalypse. I feel no reason to go back over this. If you, audience, are not experienced in Apocalypse World mechanics and would like to know more, you can go and watch the following streams on my YouTube. Apocalypse World, Dungeon World, the eight one-shots I have of that, uh, Night Witches, Saga of the Icelanders, and learn more. We're going to save some time by not re-explaining it. And we're going to go straight to making some characters. Now, uh, who has gotten into Rabbits... The, uh, the RPGs, the, the latest. So uh, I got into RPGs in two, not 2000, 1994. Uh, that beats me. I got into RPGs 2001, 2000. Okay, 2001. Mm, I think around 2010, 2011. Uh, yeah, you're going to probably be the newest. Shipping it is searching deep, deep in his memory. I'm trying to think of when it actually was, because it was when I was in elementary school. 3.5? Okay, well, that's not 2010, unless you're, unless you're six years old right now. <laughs> no, it would have been in, like, when I was 10, 12, so... Around 2000. Okay, all right. Uh, I think that means uh, chipping it. Eric and Tyson. So, Tyson, you're going to be starting first for picking a character move. For those following along, that's on page 92 of the PDF. Each player will get to pick one unique character move that no one else can take. Okay. Move that I decided to pick for patches is going to be Thumper. When you cut... When you cuff, kick, or knock another rabbit about, you may roll plus strong, plus strong instead of plus shrewd when you speak plainly. So if you beat another rabbit up instead of talking to them, you can talk to them? Yeah. Excellent. You're, you're pretty good at thumping there. All right, yeah. Eric, I think you're up next. Uh-huh, and uh, I had one planned out, and I think I'm just going to audible because I, I want to. Ooh. And I'm going to go storyteller. As my trait. Excellent. Um, so when, when I tell a story or a tale of past exploits or a storied character, uh, capital storied capital characters, uh, I roll plus shrewd. And if I do, I can reduce the panic of our listeners. Uh, basically, I'm a bard and reduce stress. So it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, which kind of fits in with my character concept, which I'll talk about later. Shipping it. Do you have a unique move that you would like to take? Yeah, actually. I'm thinking about making my character like that seasonal uh, traveler rabbit or whatever. Take circles of life. He's going to know everything about everyone. <laughs> You're oh, saying one he time. knows the facts of life? Well, no. Uh, so, uh, the fight for survival makes for some strange would say the facts of life. Come on. All right. When you first use this move, choose another type of animal in which you have history and rapport. So, we encounter some squirrels. Oh, hey, I remember the time when I was with some squirrels, when I did some adventuring with squirrels or something or other. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen because of it, but we're going to do it. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So now, jumping back to character creation, on page 27, we assign stats to all of our rabbits. The stats are strong, swift, shrewd, and steady. Strong rabbits are better at fighting off predators and digging. Swift rabbits have the best chances of escaping threats. Shrewd rabbits are better at assessing situations and communicating information. And steady rabbits are less likely to panic in dangerous situations and birth bigger litters. No rabbit will be adept at all these. When creating your PC, assign one modifier to each stat. The modifiers are plus two, plus one, plus zero, and minus one. So, uh, Eric, I think you mm -hmm. had a very clear-cut idea for what you wanted your character to be here. Yeah, um, so I wanted to go with a figurative mother, so not a literal mother yet. Um, kind of rabbit who wants to be uh, the, the less swift and, and kind of uh, agile physical rabbit and more of the intellectually sharp 
and um, compassionate, empathetic rabbit who is sort of like a mother uh, type figure to to other characters. Uh, I think I might be the sister to another player's character, which would be cool. So I think I would be going with Shrewd as my um, my highest stat. Excellent. So that's your plus two? Yes. All right. Uh, my plus one would be Steady. You keep your stuff together. Exactly. Um, then my uh, my zero would be Swift, and minus one would be Strong. Mm. Well, it's a good thing you're better at escaping than you are at fighting. Exactly. Excellent. Uh, so there's some modified stats you get in there, like Panic. I believe your Panic score is five plus, plus your Steady. Yeah, plus or minus your Steady, depending, yeah. Excellent. So what does that end up being? Six, I think. Because I think I put the it's plus six. one in it. Yeah. yeah. I was I was trying to hold up six, but then I realized my hand is currently grabbing a cat, and I can't. I need another. My left need hand. another finger. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, and what does your rabbit look like? Uh, sure. So um, my my rabbit's name is Saffron. Uh, so I think she has a very like reddish tint to her, but she's very uh a small, petite, lean uh kind of rabbit, like not a lot of muscle on her. Um, but her, her coat is also kind of like puffy. Um, so it makes her look like she's not like, uh, as skinny as she is, but really she's like pretty weak, but, um, just kind of like short hoppy, um, with a uh, very like pointed ears. All right. Chipping it. I believe you have a rabbit for us. Let's talk about it. All right. So my rabbit's name is Alvin. And as far as stats go, his plus two is going to be swift. His plus one is going to be steady. Uh, plus zero for shrewd and minus one to strong. Oh, he's real good at escaping and not a fighter at all. Interesting. Interesting. What does that make your panic end up being? Basic man. It's five plus your steady set. So six. Excellent. And what what do uh, what do you look like, Alfin? All right. So for the body, he's more stocky. He's a little bit bigger. I guess it's muscles and whatnot. Um, coat. He has a sleek coat. He's got some uh, kind of tattered ears. Looks like he's been in a couple of scuffs before. And he's a guy. Okay. Cool. Excellent, Tyson. What can you tell us about that rabbit there? That is yours. Um, patches. So the 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 character um, numbers that I decided to pick was for the plus two for strong. So he's a bit of a he's he's a very scrappy kind of bunny. Oh, he's the he also, one fighter in the group so far. Yeah, he also um, since he since um, he knows dangers a little bit. I gave him a plus one and into swift. Yeah, his his zero is going to be his steady. So. He, he gets a little bit overexcited sometimes, and he can panic easily. But he's not that smart, so I gave him a shrewd of negative one. Interesting. Yeah. What can and you tell it, us about Patches? Uh, Patches is, uh, is, a, is a runt of the litter. He's just a very sort of like sort of smallish sort of looking bunny. So he, that's why he sort of more he decided to become more physical because no one really respected him. He also um, he has a bunch of like he's the reason that everyone calls him patches is because he actually just his all his fur is all patched up all just has a bunch of different patches on it of like brown and white and black and stuff on him. He also has giant floppy ears that he like sometimes put like has to smack them away from his face as he's talking. Excellent. Yeah. That's actually a really cool trait to have. So. Um... There are a number of pre-constructed worlds that we could could have played with uh, that come with their own enemies, threats, locations, allies. We're not going to do that. We're going to make our own using the handy GM creation chapter on page 69 of the PDF. And uh, some of you are wondering, yes, birthing a litter is a mechanic in this game. Have, having the next generation of children... I believe I caught that you pass your character move on to your children. 
I think that's a thing. I think so. Yeah, I think that's a thing. And uh, in order for a chapter to pass, which is how long we go between one generation to the next, and you can survive a few generations before you die or need to play one of your children or play a new random rabbit, uh, is any time a threat is resolved or some major event happens. So play can either take the whole four hours or we could do it in two or even one. I don't know. But let's talk about what we want this warren to look like. And for the first couple questions, I'm going to open it up to everybody. And then I might individually start picking people out uh, to grill them harshly about what this place is like. And if you would... If you have any ideas, draw them on the map, and then everyone can look at this beautiful underground warren. And we'll do it, uh, what do they call them, ant colony style, so we can see like how it goes down. Uh, yeah, like a vert yeah. vertical cross section. Yep, sure. vertical cross section, there you go. That sounds really sciencey. Yeah. <laughs> so, what directions and landmarks would, give, would a rabbit give to identify your warren? Oh. Um, yeah. Got it. I got one of them. Uh, someone else can help out here, but um, is it a red racer gas station? <laughs> no, um, it's actually um, so I don't know where the ground will actually start. So I'm just gonna arbitrarily draw something here. Yeah, arbitrary ground. is great. Um, there, and what I'm going to do is there is um, shit. That's the wrong color. <laughs> there is a lone weeping willow. Um, that's just, it's one of the most like grandiose trees that's been here, uh, forever. In fact, we probably as a bunny culture have stories about the willow and how it was probably once a, uh, rabbit who was legend and then like passed away and provide shade and cover in its roots for us. Uh, or, or Warren is now near it or something like that. So, um, mother willow. Um, this is so we are we are somewhere drawing. near Mother Willow Tree. That's that is an amazing tree. I am literally uh, an amazing painter. Yeah, I know, right? Tell. You learned from Bob Ross, everyone. Yep. Did I manage to mess the cameras up? I think I did. Legit. Yeah, my yeah. face is not there. It's just Tice. It's Tice. Time. Tice, you have a clone, man. The Two Tices. Rainbow, all the way I don't know how I can handle sky. this. So, um. Yeah, we'll move on to the next question in a second. It's not that I'm fixing the cameras or anything, because that would be super unprofessional. So, I want to I wanna open this up, though, to, to the group. Um, so there's this, there is this willow tree, right? There's, like, this great willow tree that sits in the middle of, like, a glade or something like that. And um, do we live actually underneath it? Is, it? is it just, like, a landmark being, like, if you go to the willow um, past sunset, then, like, take a, a right near something else? Or is it, like, you know, like, what? how, how does this willow represent or in relation well, to our actual warren what do well, you think it, upon reading the player's book i know that rabbits oftentimes make their uh dens with a lot of roots so that uh and uh animals are trying to get down and get in have a harder time so i think underneath the tree would be really effective okay yep okay cool yep so um i like that so the um within in the roots of mother willow is where we make our den okay yeah and, um, let's see here. And I think that, uh, nearby there's, like, there's a, there's a riverbed where, like, or where, like, some of, some, we sometimes, like, I don't know, rabbits don't eat fish. I was like, <laughs> like I don't know, rabbits. Um, where uh, where where little rabbits go to see these like colorful fish that that like these like koi fish that are interesting, interesting, cool. You want to draw a little like watery river area, maybe like a U shape type thing there. I will try my best. Chipping it. You got anything you want to throw in here? Yeah, actually, uh, the willow not just provides us Oops. with uh. A home. It also provides us with friends, and I don't know if I can draw this as these little black dots all over it. There's actually a flock of ravens that usually lives in that tree, and we have a little bit of a beneficial relationship with each other. Cool. Where you know they see 
predators coming in, they might squawk out, and we've learned that uh, when they start squawking and whatnot, there's probably danger. I really would have preferred oh. a flock of seagulls that can run so far God. away. God. Really? Okay. Yeah. Listen, man. Vice City is the soundtrack to everyone's youth. <laughs> that game That's had fair. amazing songs and music. It it had Michael Jackson on like four times, so of course. But uh, yeah, what can you see when you look out from the Warren? A tree. Another tree. <laughs> okay. Is the Warren large, small, or somewhere in between? Medium. Yeah, I, w I would say medium to large. Yeah. Like it's not a new Warren, but it hasn't been there for a very long time. Okay. Uh, I was thinking it's probably, I think, um, if I can build on that, if it hasn't been around for a long time, I think this iteration hasn't been around for a long time. I think this might have been like a very old, old home that like may have seen multiple rabbit generations live here and then something would happen and they have to leave and like other people would come back. So it's like been, been inhabited and abandoned several times over. All right. So like we're returning to the an ancestral home? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or like a legendary home that like maybe didn't exist before. Rabbit home. <laughs> yeah. Like, like our, rabbit, yeah, rabbit sort of like Haven. Rabbit Eden. Yeah, right. So, uh, Hop Haven. Hop I'm Haven actually going to start game. breaking questions down. Oh my god, down. Hop Haven. Yeah, Hop, oh my god, Hop Haven is amazing. Hop Haven? Very <laughs> well. We shall call the war in Hop Haven. Um, I'm going to start breaking questions down and asking them individually, and this one goes to Eric. How okay. was this war founded? Um, originally or, or most recently? Most recently. Um, it was most recently found by a band of, uh, I, I'm going to go with the refugees, like a, a group of refugees fleeing a, some sort of like human construction development, um, left and ultimately fo um, following the, the trails and, um, like rumors and stories of, of like the old rabbits. Um, they they uncovered um, Mother Willow um, and resting in, a, in in the in the famous glade and and made home. I assume it was like Rabbit Battlestar Galactica when yeah. they finally found Cobalt. That's, that's exactly what that, that's exactly what I was thinking. Honestly, uh, was it was exactly that sort of like thing. Um, we found like, Cobalt. Yeah, like listening to like their religion of like you know I I assume rabbits have an impressive. Uh, oral history um, uh, of stories and legends of different places and things like that. Some myth, some real. Um, As a storyteller, you would be the one to let us know. Exactly. So, that's, I have, what, I'm, well, that's, that's cool. what I'm going for. I have a question for you, Chip, in it. Who okay. are the revered personages of Hop Haven, living or dead? Uh named after the homesake of the tree the uh most uh, the eldest mother who gave batch to the newest or most uh uh families of rabbits i guess uh they named her uh, she was named willow by her parents who first came to the to hop haven after the tree so she's uh like uh the elder mother second generation all right cool interesting uh patches what can you tell me what do your senses tell you about the Warren? What do you smell? What do you taste about this Warren? What do you see? Um. Uh, what what I what I smell and what I see is the it's a it's like it's sort of um a fruit a sort of like a, a tropical sort of smelling air um coming through the, the, the holes of the entrances because like around us is like a giant sort of like orange or sort of orange uh, farm that um, yeah Ooh, so nice. it's just like so it's just like waking up like like it's always exciting to, to go outside because you always just like once you get to the entrance you just like get that waft of nice nice fruit or scent see if we were going for a fallout setting it would always be mute fruit <laughs> and uh, what are they called? Tatoes? But yeah, yeah, we're in a nice orange farm. 
Maybe there's some coconuts nearby. Tiki torches. Yeah. Oh god. What. what if we're uh at one of the trees in sanctuary? <laughs> uh Yeah. I would Fifty cents spawn outside and begin fighting all the neighbors. <laughs> Have you seen that video, by the way, where the the dude does the before you go into the vault thing? He spawned fifty cents, and the neighbors just like pulled out pipe wrenches and started beating them to death. <laughs> They're all invincible, so wait, they wait, can't wait. be killed. Is their name Fifty Cent? No. <laughs> That'd be a good group, though. No. Okay. No, we're done with that one. Moving past it. Um, Saffron, how are decisions made in the Warren? I want to use a real name. <laughs> Eric? Um, how are decisions? Uh, decisions, it's mostly a matriarchal society. So the, um, the eldest um, birth mother is usually the one that, that consults. So, like, we revere our grafers. Interesting. Um, so that, so it, so would it's that definitely make Mother like a, Willow... The, the eldest mother, the current yeah. leader of the... Yeah, Jeannie, she might be one of, like, the absolute last generations of rabbits who actually came here or, like, knew the people who came here or something like that. Who, like, were on the battles... The, the, the rabbit star Galactica <laughs> to help find the Warren. The Warren. Interesting. Interesting. So, Alfin, who's unhappy about the way things are in the Warren... Uh, I know. There was a, a group of uh, rabbits actually came to us looking for some shelter because they were another. They were part of another litter that was born from this tree but separated apart from us who found it, and they came to live here. And uh, they did, but they're not happy with things around because it's different to how they run things. Is there a leader of that group? Sparks. Sparks. A dangerous Beautiful name. name, man. And he's known for uh, he's called Sparks because on his fur he has like a lot of those like kind of uh, little patches like patches of white fur. And, and then, there's already a rabbit named Patches, so it'd be ridiculous to name him Patches. Well, they're not like large ones; they're just like kind of like small little, like Sparks. So, speaking of Patches, what is your place in the Warren? Um. Uh, Patches, one of uh, Patches Judas is um, he's uh, he's one of the one of the spotters for the thing. But sometimes, but he not he doesn't always um, go runs away. Sometimes he he thinks he's he, he's he's uh, the good stuff, and he will try to actually do something to uh, to save the Warren. Even though it's just dumb luck that he survived this long. Interesting. He's a, he's a fighter. He likes scrapping. So, Saffron, what threat will destroy the Warren if left unchecked? Ooh. Um, I had a suggestion here, but... Yeah, no, I want to hear a suggestion. Oh. I was actually thinking something f more, like, existential, like weather or, like, environmental. Oh, I was but, like, thinking, there, thinking there's, like, a, a fox that comes oh, by like an every actual season predator? and, like, demands tribute, like, one rabbit to eat. The Fuck spring. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'll ask you another question because I stole that one. <laughs> yeah. No, I like Excellent. I like King Fox. I like that idea. Maybe this is why it was abandoned and we never knew why until he like showed uh, up and like <laughs> ate, ate people. <laughs> and we're like, fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> well. So, uh, what is the hardest oh, thing for the yes! rest? Yes, because the ravens work for the fox. Oh, but they're like your friends too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're like they're playing both sides. They're, exactly, exactly, because they're freaking ravens. Uh, ah. that's so, that's so raven. It's so. Ra <laughs> <laughs> what is the hardest awesome. thing for the rabbits of the Warren to obtain, Saffron? Um, well, it won't be safety. Um, we have water, so it has to be some kind of food that we need um no I, I know what it is uh because of our climate and stuff like that um dryness it's always damp 
Is that, is that an option? Oh, that's perfectly legitimate. If you think that, because uh, your warren being wet means it's probably pretty soggy and like you exactly. have to constantly I, rebuild tunnels. Exactly. So, um, that's so how about like rocks the, or uh, yeah. like building or like materials, like just I guess so good, that uh, good earth basically. Yeah, that's why we're in the tree because the roots actually keep most of it together. Exactly. And that, you, you know what I mean? It's hard to expand it's, out um, of there because exact yeah because it keeps collapsing because it's all wet and all you know because. Yeah, I imagine the willow sits in like underneath, like near uh, a glade, right? So like it's always like swampy, marshy. Um, it's in, it's, it's obviously in like a floodplain kind of stuff. So um, for it to actually stay dry and for us to not like flood or whatever, um, that's super important. It's also a problem for us for for expanding our our reach. So, Elfin, what might others covet about your Warren? Uh, it's general safety. While uh, it is a little bit of an issue with how much numbers that we have now, yeah, we just have like a little bit more rabbits than it should be able to hold within like the rooted walls. And the roots do provide a good amount of uh, protection from intruders. That's why the fox kind of demands something. Otherwise, he would have to hunt us down as we go darting out. Normally, he can't get to us all the time. But uh, basically, it, it's a very safe place to live. And uh, patches. What would make the Warren a better place? Um, what would make the Warren a better place? Um, is if we were able to actually, um, if there was a, if we could, um, find a, um, some kind of material to help us actually expand this whole, the our our um our whole uh. <laughs> Our whole warren because we're starting to get overcrowded and the space mm -hmm. would be needed. And possibly oh, yeah. if that fox would leave us alone. <laughs> yeah. That's a good, that's, I like that problem a lot actually. That's cool. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So now we move to relationship questions. Uh, Saffron, who do you trust most of all? Patches. Patches is my brother. Um, well, I guess, wait, that's probably who I care about more. Um, no, I think I trust Patches more than even um, Mother Willow because we're the next generation. And I think that... Um, uh, this I think is the I'm rabbit be, version of the 100. Got it. Yeah. That, um, why, yeah. <laughs> I care about my immediate family. And I think that um, while I'm not, like, necessarily next in line to be like Burrow Mother or whatever, I think I, I see myself in a, like at least a leadership role of some kind, whether it, even if it just means being like the parent and having to look after Patches. And because like Patches is like going to get in trouble. And like, so I, I have to help him. Wow, yeah. chipping it. Really? Rabbits the next generation? Fine. Uh, Alfin, who makes your life miserable? And thank you for answering this one, by the way. Uh, it's actually uh, Sparks, because I'm one of the rabbits that uh, just came into here, I guess as part of like uh, that group, and really I wasn't even a part of that group to begin with. Um, I just kind of went along with them. So I'm not from this Warren, I'm not from that Warren, I've been more of a traveling rabbit. Interesting. Interesting. Patches, who do you wish was your mate? Don't say your sister. Don't say your sister. Don't say your sister. <laughs> oh my! No, not my sister. Even though rabbits do that kind of thing. <laughs> um. Uh. There's this. Uh. There's, a, there's another fighty kind of rabbit that I know of. That. Uh, oh really? Tell me more about her. Uh. Her name is. Um, uh. Uh, Scarlet, because she has like a, she sort of has like a scar, a cr um, scar on her shoulder from like, from her her accidental encounter with the with the fox. How she she was actually able to escape him, the one time. Ooh. I'm like, oh, it's, I was like, she's just, she's, she she fought the fox and 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 basically won because she's not dead. She's the best maid ever. Interesting. Maybe Interesting. she was marked by the black rabbit. Could be. Could be. 
The fox is a black rabbit. Uh, so, Saffron, who have you let sleep in your burrow? I mean, not to pry too much in your private life, but... Um, just because it'll be fun to see, uh, Sparks. Ooh. Ooh, I feel like there's a story um, there. I feel like there is, and I also I feel like that might play into why um, I don't necessarily trust uh, the matron uh, Mother Willow as much as I do my, my brother. So there might be some drama there I'd like to see. I don't know. Uh, the next couple questions would be for Chip in it, but I feel like we already have the answers to them. Uh, the first one is, who's the oldest rabbit you know, which I'm guessing is Mother Willow. The next one is who turned out to be your rival, which is almost certainly Sparks. Unless you have somebody else you want to be rivaled against. Uh, Maybe I'll... his name could be Blue or Red, and he could have a Charizard. Just shaking my head at that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we can have it be Sparks. Okay, alright. Well, it, so... it's really more... Like, that's the problem, is that I wouldn't really see him as a rival. I just think that he'd be really more annoy annoyance. So who is your rival, then? I'm telling you, Red with the Charizard. Actually, he shows up every time you get done with the gym badge. No, I actually know the name of my uh, rival. My His rival is, is the Oak. Fox. Gary o oh, shit, okay. Uh, the I'm Fox's name is Sasha, by the way. Yeah, I am because, Oh, uh, Sasha. Sasha. Sasha, yeah. like the so is, Slavic... Is it it's yeah. a male fox. It's the Slavic version of Alexander. Of Alexander. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the fox is actually my rival because Excellent. I'm so fast. I've just escaped from it so many times. You know, either getting stuff for here or I've seen other foxes. And that kind of comes into my circle of life. That I, I know how to deal with foxes. Interesting. And I, I don't know how in real life to deal with foxes. but Patches, who would you like to see in charge? <laughs> um... Uh, even though I sometimes fight with her, I think my my sister um, Saffron should be the next next uh, den mother. She's so she's so smart. Interesting. <laughs> Saffron, whose shadow have you been living in? Uh, I've been living under the shadow of the den mother, of um, of I guess whatever her name was. I forget Willow. Mother Sorry, Willow. we said yeah. So that's weird. Like that's the name for the tree and and actual the mom. Maybe that. Maybe the name. Well, of it's the a tree. title. Yeah, it's a title. That was what I was thinking. Like maybe the leader always takes the name Mother Willow. Oh hell yeah! Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Alfin, who knows your secret? Uh, let's actually say Scarlet. Ooh. Scarlet knows my secret. Actually, um, unbeknownst to people, um, I saved her from Sasha that one time that she ran into it. Oh, yeah. And everyone's like, you're so good at running, Scarlet. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm great at running. Scratch the scar real quick. Yeah, and so she knows my secret that I kind of have this rivalry going on with uh, Sasha because it was more or less one of those things. Uh, so in this game, do the animals anthropomorphically speak to each other? Like, yes, are they we do. Gonna... Okay. Yep. So the only persons less... you can't speak to are humans. They sound like... Wah, 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 wah. So we're going to have it be like a... The, um, Sasha was caught, uh, or not, Sasha caught Scarlet, and then I just kind of show, I see this all going down, and then I just kind of mock Sasha, being like, oh, you can't catch me, you have to go, uh, and prey on another rabbit? How, how horrible, you're really a bad fox, and then she just chased, chased after me, or he chased after me, and, you know, it all went down from there, but Scarlet oh, was able you, to get you away. You just give me, and you give, it, you give me nothing but anxiety. <laughs> I love no. it. No, because you are, you are like you're physically strong, and you're like an intimidating rabbit, and you kind of know it, right? No, uh, Scarlet, not Saffron. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Sorry, I this is the one up. that uh, miraculously, miraculously survived. Oh yeah, 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 from the other group. Yeah. So before we get started here, I just want to review basic moves, uh, which are resist panic, which is whenever you expose yourself to new dangers, you gotta keep yourself steady. Speak plainly when you reason with another animal. Pay attention by giving your full focus. Bolt when you make a run for it. Sneak to avoid notice or help and hinder when you wish to help or hinder another player character's rabbit. 
There are a number of special moves, which we will go into as they show up. And so we start <clears throat> with uh, Afra Saffron, Alfin, and Patches out by the, the river where some koi swim up and down. There's a nice, gentle, warm breeze as the last of the snow melts in the distance, and the sun is rising on a bright first day of spring. When, from the tree line at the edge of your clearing, you notice a familiar streak of orange-red as a fox, Sasha, sits there and stares at you with his beady little eyes. Um, real quick. What are the dice that we're rolling? Is it 2d6? It's 2d6 yeah. for everything. So is this known? Uh, like, is this a common thing for the fox to be always watching us? Yeah. Like a big brother kind so, of thing? So he shows up during the spring because by mid-spring, he has to have a sacrifice of one of the rabbits. Oh, because it's a So tribute. someone must be yeah. chosen. And so, okay. yeah, you, you see Sasha in the distance. And while he is much farther away than your entrance to the willow, Warren, Hophaven, you know him to be quite fast. What do you do? Um, I guess we tried to get, like, some of the uh, younger rabbits down into the deeper bits of the burrow. And then so I... So you're uh, going to direct them back to the tree? Well, um, so just, like, deeper within the tree. Like, I'm going to imagine that there's some of the kind of caverns that we live in that are more rooted than others so they they provide the most safety so okay. like uh like when you think about the tree there's going to be a bunch of roots in the main part so any dens that we have built there are going to be the safest because the fox can't you know jump in there so and you have like little us. hidey holes outside the main entrance yeah but we don't have like uh room for everyone so there's oh. going to be some of us that aren't going to be safe like we're going to be in a little home but you know if the fox does like a dive into the uh into either one of the other entrances or into the earth you know they're more i want to thank you for making my life easier here by the way i like how you've, you've made that uh, my question is are you taking pains to ignore notice or are you running for it like i'm outside i thought we were inside the no water. no you're outside watching the fish with all the kids yeah we're at the pond you're at the pond um i guess I would be first just trying to help the kids to the warren. But are you doing a... it without notice, or are you doing it by running there? Uh, so bolting versus paying sneaking. attention? Yeah. Bolting versus sneaking. I mean, yeah, you're describing like you're moving them. I'm just interested in how you're moving them. They're not going to, like, these little ones probably wouldn't be able to sneak well, so I'm going to be bolting, but I'm going to be trying to help them, you know. Okay, yeah, I got possible. it. Excellent. So can you roll plus swift real quick? Well, first thing first. I know that swift is, so that's roll 2d6 two two six. Six plus 2. If that's what your swift is. Yeah, 7. Ooh. 7. Okay. Partial success. Let's talk about that. It looks like you're going to get to pick something. You run fast enough, but choose one. You don't intend it exactly where you intended. It takes more out of you than you would have thought. Take minus one forward, or it's much closer than you care for. Take plus one panic. I, I, I'm going to take plus one panic just because um, All right. I'm worried about the kids more than anything. Yeah, as you're bolting away, Sasha slips across the field like an eel, just slithering fox style. And you manage to get them beneath ground just as he shows up and wraps his body around you. And then, like, puts his head next to yours and is like, Hello, Athen. How are you today? This looks Pretty like good. a fine the first day of spring, my friend. And then he, like, licks your ear. Uh, oh. Oh, Saffron. Your coat is looking particularly fine this the winter has treated you well, my young friend. Oh, can uh, I ask? I, uh, I don't say anything. I I deliberate. I deliberately just try to um, remain calm and. So and he decide. proudly trots over to you while you're while you're waiting there. Oh, can yeah, we get uh, sure. handouts? Uh, f yes. Do you need a handout for something? 
Yeah, I just want to keep track of my, my panic and my other stats. Excellent. You're... Yeah. You have one. Thank you. Yeah. Saffron, what's wrong? You're too good to speak to your good friend Sasha now? And he, like, rests his head yeah. on top of yours, so his chin's Ex on top of your body. Oh, yeah, and I'm I'm extremely uncomfortable, but, um, I I know better than to, to like, be quippy with, with the fox, as, but I am, like, dying to, like, retort back to him, but yeah. I, I don't, I also know better than, than to actually say something. So my, my character's thinking is, it's like, well, well, way better than you, 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 you dumb fucking fox, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, like, just, like, uh, just, just wait, like, you are... Like when one day we're gonna rise up and beat you. Like this is all going on in my head, and I'm just being completely silent. Right? Viva la resistance! Yeah, like like this is like like your your days are numbered, Fox. But like in my head, like that's going on in my head. But really, like you know, I'm like basically like Leia versus the Hut right now. Like you know what I mean? Can you roll to resist panic? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I feel that, like that. that sense right yeah, now. you're trying to keep your stuff together, trying not to act out. Exactly. Like so, um, Leia versus the uh, Hut. Steady, right? So, yeah. So that new Leia versus the Hut discussion is actually pretty it. interesting on the sale of slave, slave Leia gear. Carrie Fisher's like, yeah, I killed it. I killed that because he made me wear that dumb bikini. He's dead, son. So, uh, got an 11. I don't. Did it not roll? Uh, I rolled 2d6 plus 1, which is my steady. Yep, I, d I literally don't see it. I don't know what happened. Might have glitched. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? No. Am oh. Oh, you know what I did? I rolled it in my you other You rolled it 20. in the wrong. <laughs> All right, yeah, 11. Let's let's look at that then. <clears throat> You're on shaking. Just to show, like, I didn't... I didn't yeah, I didn't no, it's fine. I, rolled it. I had the wrong roll 20 open. <laughs> Sorry, okay. GM life, yo. I understand. Yeah, you keep your stuff together. Yeah, as yeah, as uh, as uh, just saffron's perfect. yeah, as saffron's just like doing this calm thing. You just like sort of like bolt um, uh, patches sort of like bolts in front of like in between like the wolf like where he's resting and like the his sister and he's like he's like oh he his head is on top of her. Head. Oh yeah, like I'm he's, I'm like he's like facing her and then on top of her head like do yes, I know? little rabbit. Yeah, do I see though? Do I see Thumper? Or all then probably uh, yeah he like, like, comes so like, rushing yeah. over. Okay, I know, but like I just wasn't sure the way he was like keeping my head like down. So I yeah, just no, to no, yeah, he's yeah. not. So I'm in, I'm like he's just rubbing against you, getting a oh, yeah. scent on you because yeah, no, like, for like maximum effect, like like not only do I own you, but like oh yeah, look at you look at your friend coming there that you're powerless to do anything <laughs> about, right? You know what I mean? Like it's like rubbing it in my face. <laughs> at least that's what I'm picturing. So, so totally. Yeah, patches. You're coming over here. You're gonna try to separate them, maybe or yeah, what's I'm yeah, yeah, I'm gonna like yeah, I'm gonna like. And you're like, oh no, I'm my sis sister, you're in danger. And I'd sort of like, I'd, I'd sort of tackle her away from him. Oh, interesting. So you're like pushing her out from under him. Huh. Are you okay with this happening, Saffron? Or are you going to try to stop from being pushed? Oh, um, I feel like I'm trying to say it with my eyes, being like, don't, 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 like, don't piss him off, right? Without, I can't, obviously, I can't talk and tell him to not do it. So here's the question I have then, Patches. Do you care enough that your sister would say don't do this, or are you just bolting in and doing it anyway? I feel like you would know, like my my your sister's response to this would be like, don't be stupid, don't be stupid. I've been telling you since you've been a kid to not be stupid, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, but I do love the idea that even today you still don't listen. So <laughs> yeah, I was just like, also, yeah, yeah. he's the also, bumper. Yeah, he's just like. Yeah, he 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 he, he just, all he wants to do is protect his sister. So like every yeah. every he always tries to like always tries to um keep the fox and uh, his sister like being in between the fox and his sister at all, all times more normally because he's he's strong. He he knows his sister can't fight. So so Sa uh, saffron, do you want to attempt to block being pushed away, or are you just going to accept your brother barreling into you and knocking you over? 
No, I'm totally going to accept him, him doing okay. this. Okay, then it happens, and Sasha... Because I'm, I'm still... I'm in a state of disbelief that he likes, he's going to do it, right? Like, he's not going to do it. Like, he's... he's like, You're like, obviously he's going to turn away. He's just playing chicken. <laughs> Bam! Exactly, right? Like, exactly. I'm like, no, no. My, my brother's not that stupid. So, like, absolutely. So, so this is awesome. Yeah, Sasha lets out a laugh, like, <laughs> Oh, Patches, it has been a while since I've seen you. What have you been doing all winter? <laughs> oh, what was that uh, little rabbit's name? Scarlet? The one I caught sneaking near my den. Mmm, the taste of her flesh was just delicious. Yeah. He's like licking his teeth. Um, I'm like still savoring it. Now he, he's literally sitting like a statue of a lion with his whiskers out, just staring right at you, Patches, like... What's up? Come at me. Yeah. Um. He's he's sort of like stuck. He's like, he's like I've been I've been I've been uh, I've been hiding in the den, uh, learning how to fight with with Scarlet, to grow up big and strong. So oh. I can not, not not be scared anymore. Well, if you're learning how to fight with Scarlet. You might be better spending your time rolling around in the hay with her. You haven't gotten that far along, have you, my boy? <laughs> Not when she has Alfin to fight her battles for her. I'm actually going to say, as if he turns to look at Alfin, Alfin is just completely ignoring him and trying to get all the rabbits back in. And if possible, he's gone and into the burrow to okay. get them in. All right. he, he doesn't give this thing. Yeah, like what? Box, like, yeah, like that's the last thing you hear as you duck down beneath the earth. What's, what's happening when you get down there? Like okay. you're in one of the little like hideaway burrows that aren't connected to the to the no. main tree, yeah, or are it, you in the it's main a tree? False burrow, right? So yeah. it's kind of a leading the kids through. So what I'm gonna guess is I'm gonna guess like like the main burrow, the one that's the safest, is gonna be where the mother is, where Willow is. So I'm leading all the children to Willow. Um, I'm kind of going about telling, you know, anybody else that, you know, Sash is back and my main priority right now is getting them safe to Willow and I'm going to talk to Willow and tell her that Sasha is back. All right. That's a terrible fox that I've drawn. Can you, can you give me some drawing of what you think these little burrows look like? I think I drew I a horse instead of a fox. I just, I don't really, that fox, man. yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty it's sure a, it's a horse with a super long <laughs> tail. I just don't know which end the head is. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're looking for Mother Willow. Oh, there you go. Thank you. That that does make things a little clearer. <clears throat> um, yeah. You you easily find Mother Willow, who uh, is is very grayford by now. And she's like, yes, yes, Alfin, what is it? Sasha's back. Oh, you damn fool, of course Sasha's back. It's the spring today, isn't it? You're not antagonizing him or anything, are you? That'd be real dumb. I haven't said a word to him. Well, good. I just brought the kids to safety. I wanted to make sure you knew that he was outside the den. Well, is there anything else you can tell me? Are you just useless as a useless little kit? Saffron and Patches are up there. Well, why the hell would you leave them up there? You lost your damn sense, boy. Get back up there and save them. They need it. You let Patches go up against him alone. Patches is going to be in some trouble. First priority was the children, Matron Mother. Mary Willow. Hmm. All right. All right. I feel like you need to speak plainly with her, right? You're trying to reason with her. Yeah. She's being a little unreasonable, you might say. Yeah, hold on. She's making things a little hairy. Nice. Okay, so speak plainly is a shrewd roll, correct? No, it is. Nine. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll let you go just as long as... uh. <clears throat> Let you do what you need to, just as long as you promise to uh, bring me back some of them delicious oranges later. This should be uh, a couple nice ripe oranges right about now. So it's like she's just not concerned about the kids at all. 
Are you are you saying that to her? But yeah, no. she's basically like disinterested. You're like, we brought the kids back, and she's like, go go get Saffro. I don't care about much else. And bring me an orange while you're out there. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> she a bitch. Um, so. Yeah, so what happened to me after I got... We're cutting back to that now. Like, this okay, okay. this took place while you were being harassed by Sasha. Yeah, yeah, so, like, while I was still under the um, control. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So Sasha's up. He, he's still sitting in his lion rampant <laughs> position, just like... Yeah. <laughs> occasionally, like, getting up on his hind legs to seem like he's bigger than he is. And uh, just staring at Saffron and Patches. What do you do? Um... I looked up Patches, and I'm like, come on, Patches, let's get out of here. Uh, he's the... Sasha isn't worth our time, is what I say. Oh, I'm not worth your part. time. Not worth your time, huh? There's nothing you might want that I can provide for you? I'm willing to do anything to help you little rabbits out. You don't need any cotton, perhaps? Maybe some copper? Some stones from a far field? I have much to trade after the winter. This would be a separate deal, not uh, not related to our protection deal. Speaking of, do you have... Your deals... I was like... I, I'm trying to think of a clever way of saying it, but basically I want to hint at... Um, his deals are never um, as clear-cut as, as they seem. Oh, you know I am I mean? wounded! I am wounded, Saffron. How to say such a thing to your good friend, Sasha. I have always dealt with you fairly. All of the other wardens say that I am a very agreeable fox. They oh, don't have any issues. Oh, he has multiple warrens. Yes, he's he's a oh, warlord. Oh shit! He's like a he's like a no, he's like an evil noble like feudal lord. Yeah. Oh shit! No one else has any complaints. Just when I come here, you are all so fiercely independent. Oh, um, no, I think um, I think that Saffron would just uh, quip. That, um, no, we have no interest in trading right now, but, uh, the protection agreement is, is still in effect, and don't worry, you'll get yours, uh, on, on the day that was agreed. Oh, is there a one that's juicy and plump just waiting for me? I was hoping to get You'll a have piece to wait and see as the agreement. Is it Scarlet? Been. And then he, like, stands next to Patches, just like he did with Saffron, oh. and just his face is directly next to yours, looking in the same direction as you, and his tail's, like, hitting the back of you. Is it Scarlet? I did like the taste oh. of her. Is it can, Scarlet? Patches, tell me. I'm so excited right now. Can um I insert something here, Eric? Oh, absolutely, yeah. That, this is a scene for all of us, man. I would say that it would be actually uh, really good for you to... Like mumble under your breath or something other like that. It'd be great if it was Willow. Ooh. That was a sacrifice. Ooh. Uh. You might not hear it, but I'm just saying. I might think that, but I'm not gonna <laughs> even say it. But yeah. Thank you, though. So patches, what are you doing now that Sasha's rubbing up against you, talking about Scarlet and how delicious she tastes? Um, he's sort of like, sort of like, foolishly just to like, sort of like, puts up his things like to keep to block himself, the, the tail, and he's like, he's like, if, I'd like to see that, Scarlet would beat you up if she, if she got another chance. She would. You don't even, know then. You don't know. <laughs> you think Scarlet beat me up. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, that's what she said. Uh, interesting. You might want to ask Alfin for the full story there, my young friend. Well, I'll leave you to your day if you have nothing to trade with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of spring. I'll be looking forward to our next meal. Catch you later. Oh, that's even, that's a horrible pun. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, he just slinks off with his tail wagging hugely in the air. Oh, and yeah. you just like, yeah, as, as, as you just see behind him, you just see, see, uh, see Patches go. <laughs> yeah. You want to give him a good thumping, huh? Yeah, I'm just like, um, like it looks I like I'm going to go. 
Yeah, I'm, looks like I'm going to pull walk forward, but then my sister like just stops, grabs me by one of my floppy ears. No, ab- absolutely. And I like so like why? And the scene is kind of just like the camera's watching me grab you and like pull you back and be like, "Come on, Thumper, uh, let's you know, let's get out of here." I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I called you Thumper. This is immediately what I think of with your character. Um, and uh, we look above in the willow tree, and like we see like the ravens like cawing and stuff like that. And they're like, "What are you looking at?" As we like we go underground, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, just making, I think making you their meet, noise. You meet Alfin at the entrance. Yeah. Alfin, you've come back up after speaking with Mother Willow and her demand that you bring Sasha back down and, and some oranges. Saffron back down. Well, actually, oranges. before I would go to them, I'd be kind of displeased with her nature of things, and I would go to Sparks. Even though he has a dislike for me, I view him okay. in some regard. Yeah, so what does Sparks' burrow looks like? Um, so it's just kind of in like the surrounding burrows is where most of the not, so there's like kind of two tiers of rabbits. There's the willow born rabbits and then there's the, um, what's a good word for like surrounding area? Outsiders. Yeah, that's too generic. Um, immigrants. No, I, um, something, do we, do we need a name for another warren or some, a term that we call not outsiders? Not even that. Not, well, yeah, that that even that would work. Um, um, something about smell, like how the smell doesn't smell like us. Something about like the that. willow list. Yeah. Willowborn uh, and willow willis. So um, there's like. Can or we the call it? Oh, I was gonna call them like the lost or the missing. Like, because this was like a home, right? Like, this is like a, a legendary home, and so people who don't live at the legendary home are like, don't know that the home's there or something like that. So like they're called like the uh, like the missing or like yeah like the willow list. The willow list or, is really good. Yeah, or or the or something to do with this. This is an idea I thought of as um uh the fruitless wanderers. Because, yeah, like, they don't have the fruit because you're in an orange farm. The yeah. fruitless. Okay. Um. So I guess the uh, the fruitless have their own type of. Uh, they have their own not- sub community. It, kind of like their own sub-community, because more than likely they're not going to be allowed any type of shelter within the um, in the inner workings of uh, Hop Haven. So they're going to be more or less like in little outskirt little holes and whatnot. And I'm just going to kind of go to him, and I'm just going to let him know of what's going on. Uh, Sparks, Sasha is back. I thought you would like to know. So Sparks is, is like tapping his rear foot in uh, time to some music. And there's another rabbit there squeaking away, just making some noise. And he's like, yeah, okay, Sasha's back, huh? Might be time to find Patches, give him a right proper thumping. You want me to gather up the boys? That That is up to you. Right? I, I don't care. I was oh, able we'll play to... this real cool out there, real cool indeed. I was able to get the children to safety. Uh, Saffron and Patches are up there. I'm going to go check on them. And I'm just... No, no know. need for you to check on them. Better let a real rabbit do it. Real wow. Cool rabbit. He's just going to kind of look at him like... Okay, man. Also, uh, Willow, she... It's... I'm getting worried. I told her about the how I saved the children, and the only thing concerned with her was getting oranges to eat. <coughs> Yeah, man. Let me tell you. I called my grandfather. Sent out a raven for him. Real cool raven right before the winter came. I expect he'll be coming. Major hip-hop. Yeah, he'll really change the way things work around here. They won't be calling us the fruitless any longer. He's kind of tilting his head looking at him like... Okay. So he, he like, pushes past you. Okay. And one of the 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 rabbit that was like squeaking in the corner, a female rabbit, just kind of like laughs as he pushes past you. Uh huh. And then he turns around, and Sparks is like, "Is there anything else you really needed there, Alfin? Anything like, else you want me to do for you, brother?" I didn't need any of this, and I don't need you to do anything for me. I just thought you'd like to know. We are friends, after all. Yeah, friends. And then he he just starts like making snake like movements. He's like, I'm a snake. I'm a snake. He's been practicing all winter, like pretending to be a snake. And um So I'm gonna say like uh Alfin is gonna be more of the rabbit who's 
he's not like about to die, but he has been experienced. And so that's why he's traveled, like maybe his main burrow got killed. He was the last person or whatever. And then he's just kind of been around living with other rabbits, but you know, either calamity falls or stuff like feel, this happens. Yeah, I feel like so, Sparks is kind of the leader of the the fruitless, and that you have to answer to him, and that's why he makes your life shit because he's just like, "What's up, old man? I'm in charge." But well, maybe not even old man. Like maybe like more middle aged. But there's still the fact that he's been around. He's seen a lot. He's actually interacted with like with the circle of life. He's interacted with like other creatures a fair bit. Um. So he's more world traveled, and he's not so much cloistered. Um, and I'm thinking that a lot of the rivalry might consist of uh, he sees himself as a leader, but then Alton knows that it doesn't matter. And in a lot of situations, there might be stuff that needs to be done. And then Alton ends up doing it, and he just, just gets pissed because you know it's just like how dare he end up being successful or whatnot. You know, if it weren't for like my bad leg, I'd be able to beat up those squirrels for that food or something other like that. So yeah, interesting. Are you still going to Saffron now? Behind? Yeah, like as soon as. Uh, Are you he's staying done... behind uh, uh, Sparks when he goes? Uh, well, basically the goal was as soon as he's done talking to him, he's going to go up and check on Saffron and Patches. Right, but Sparks is pushing his way past you to get up there first. If he needs to get up there first, he needs to get up there first. Oh, okay. All right. I don't really give two shits. All right. Cool. So Saffron, Sparks kind of comes out the top of the rabbit hole as you're about to enter it, and he's just like, mm -hmm. oh, hey, Saffron, you're looking real good in the orange-colored sky of the spring morning. How you been, Patches? Haven't seen you since yesterday. Um, I do, like, a sniff in the air and be like, I thought I smelled something funny in, like, a, you know, like a coy kind of way, and uh, say, like, what are you doing here, Sparks? Oh. In a very like, um, like you know, I feel like we we sleep, but it's like on the down low, <laughs> so it's like we maintain this thing, and yeah. maybe he's also just kind of like the jockey high school, you know? Uh, what yeah, I mean? I'm very much for trying to play him as yeah, the like tunnel snakes guy from yeah, Fallout, uh, like totally, and um, so well, like I'm doing the pff, whatever kind of like, you know what I mean? And then he's um, he's like giving you the significant glance. It's like yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, man. Hey. Stay away from my sister. I'm not even interested in your sister like that, Patches. How you been, my main man? You know, just... Just, um, proving myself against the fox. Oh, really? Yeah, tell me about that. I'm interested. Yeah, well, you see, I, I just saved my sister. From the fox. Is that true, oh. Saffron? Yeah, he did, because my brother is the strongest rabbit of the, um, what do we call us, the Willows? The Willows. Yeah, of the Willows. No, of the Willowborn. Willowborn. Willowborn, that's right, of the Willowborn. He could, he could thump you up and down this glade. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm big and strong. Uh, yeah, I think you're going to have to resist panic for that one, right? Who? Me? Yeah, because you're you're, For you're you're standing up to Sparks. Well, yeah, but I'm okay. I I, guess I, I don't know. I do no, you um, feel like you might be panicked by this? He's a, you know, he's not a bigger rabbit than you, but he's kind of. I don't know. Like, what are community? What, what do you imagine the stakes are? Since we're like lovers, I thought we we're still just being like coy with one another. Oh, okay. I didn't, I right. didn't think no, we were fine. actually being. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. All right. He just laughs it off. He's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like this is just like a, a an elaborate, intimidating joke. Because yeah, like, we don't need to we, worry we, about. We totally have sex, so. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to worry about uh, the Willowborn being in charge very much longer. Uh, I quirk an ear. Yeah, my uncle's showing up today. Oh, you're, um, and what's oh, his yeah, name? yeah, sent a, sent a raven to my grandfather. Major hip-hop is coming today. Can I do something to know what that means? Uh, yes. Like, I don't do know I know a time. story of that? Do I? Sure, I mean, major hip-hop is definitely a story rabbit. Sure. I think so... you have a storyteller trait that lets you do something about 
That re- it reduces panic, so I'm not sure if it's a move that really makes sense. Right. At this I point. thought you had, you could tell stories about things, though. I could uh, to reduce panic. I can tell a story. Okay. Well, yeah, you know a bit about them then, because you know some okay. stories. So sure. major hip hops uh, been quite a legend around the various Warrens. Uh, he shows up when he is needed. Is he like a Robin Hood figure? No, no. He's he's more like a military, like complete lockdown. Oh, he's like an insurgency. Yeah, like. he's a he he <laughs> destroys like foxes. So squirrels. yeah, well, I was gonna ask you what what's his famous most famous story? Like who did he take down? The Battle of the Tree. He once dropped a tree on a human hunter. And the Uh-oh. human hunter dropped a shotgun because he was drunk and shot himself in the face by accident. Oh, my God. And once he got done pissing himself and running away, Major Hip Hop declared victory. Because they spent all winter digging out the roots of the tree. And then when the hunter came by, a bunch of rabbits led by him pushed on the tree and fell it on him. Oh, that's incredible. Yep, Major Hip Hop. It was the Battle of the Acorn. The human feller? The what? The human feller? Like you fell a human? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know that's feller. what I mean. Like yeah. I'm saying like in character when yeah. he says major hip hop's coming in. Like like the one who killed the human? Yeah, yeah. The hunter? He's real cool like that. It's like um I actually kind of like real talk with her with, with Sparks for a second. I'm like, wait. Like like our our masks come off for a second and we're like I'm like, you related to him? Oh yeah, yeah, he's real cool. You know, He's he's my uncle on my mother's side. Wow, I didn't, I didn't, I thought that was just a story. No, nah, it's true. Yeah, listen, we'll talk about it later. Brothers around, I don't want them looking at me like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. So patches, what's new with you? Yeah, standing up to the fox, huh? Well, if you ever decide to leave those willow born behind and join us, cool tunnel rabbits, I could use a strong second like you. You know, I was considering Alfin, but you know. No. Oh, Alfin, that- you're right there. Oh, not to talk about you behind your your tail or anything. Um, I, I would never, I would never join you. One of these days, my sister is gonna be the leader of the of the Willowborn, and she's going to bring, she's gonna make this place a great place. And she's good. She will defeat the fox. <laughs> so, she's going to defeat the fox, huh? She's so... Well. And then he, like, looks at Saffron. He's, he, it's, it looks like he's going to say something really mean, and then he's just like, yeah, sure, she'll be in charge one day. Sure. Well. I'll see you around, Patches. I'm going to go get some water by the pond. Unless you're, you know, too scared to join me. I'd hate to see you get outfoxed. And then he starts hopping away towards the... And, and like, a couple rabbits come out of the, the warren and hop behind him in, like, a V formation. Yeah, tunnel snakes rule. We're the tunnel snakes. Yeah. And we rule, rule, rule. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he just like patches his sort of looks and he's like, he's like, I'm not scared. And he starts like, he starts to go hopping with, hopping with the group. Okay. To the pond. All right, cool, cool. So you, yeah, you're not scared and you're willing to associate with the fruit, fruitless. Interesting. So, Alfin, Saffron, you're kind of left at the entrance to the willow tree together. Mm-hmm. What's happening there? Um, so, uh, Alfin, um, what is your role in our society again? Where do you fit in? Like, in, like, in the in the Willowborn? Like, she's like asking? The, it, yeah, uh, no, I'm asking you out of character. Like, in, in the Willowborn, like, hierarchy of rabbits, uh, where, does, where does Alfin fit in? Alfin isn't a Willowborn, and he's not, a, and he's not really like one I, of the group of the fruitless. That's what but, I mean. So, like, how, what is it like when you're when you visit us? Like, what is your hierarchy in, to us? Sorry, I don't know, and I guess that would be something that that you guys would probably figure out the most of how I fit in. But basically, okay. he works 
it, like this is his new kind of temporary home or adoptive home. Like he's probably been here for a little while. Um, but you know, more or less he helps the kid. He helps out where he can. You know, he yeah. doesn't try to be a bother to anybody just okay. like sitting in, but you know, there might be times where he just kind of goes off or, and does stuff, whatnot. Like sure. maybe he sees a squirrel I- and he's talked with squirrels before and sure. he's just becomes friends. Like he's one of those, can I yes. suggest? Can I just suggest or establish something for like mm-hmm. the scene that we go with, go with? Sure. I think I think foreigners are only allowed to like come into certain parts of our Warren, but you're not allowed to know other parts because they might have like secret tunnels and that kind of stuff, and it's like information secret defense kind of things, and it's sort of like a permissions trust thing. But I think maybe you, since you've been here, like you actually ha- are like one of the few rabbits that has some like special access to go like beyond certain parts, especially since you handle like stuff with like the kits and things like that. Well, it's really just more. It's I'd imagine for that it would be he has shown that he's useful and he's not yeah. trying to be a bad guy. Oh yeah, no, like you have abs- you absolutely earned your your privilege that you have in our yeah. In our, so in our he society. has respect so, cool. within yeah. the fruitless, within the Willowborn, and possibly yeah. other connections that we haven't made. <laughs> so, um, but I, I think after this ordeal this morning. Um, Mm-hmm. I kind of like like do like one of those like little like shakes and like twists of stuff like that, and I, I actually I'm I'm concerned about you, Alvin. I, I actually I look at you, um, and I'm like, like whew, that was, it's like this is not a start of a good year. Um, how hungry are you? You look hungry. How about I I go in there and get you something? Oh, I'll be fine for the most part. Uh, I did talk nonsense. To you. I'm not gonna take no for an answer. You clearly need some radishes. I did. Oh, thank you. But I did talk to uh, Willow. And she did, uh, ask, after I got the children to safety, she had asked uh, that we get her some oranges. Oh, oh, you spoke to her and she, oranges. Oh, okay. Hmm. You know, um, you know what they say when she needs oranges? No, I don't. I hear that our, uh, the Willow Mother's craving for oranges only spikes when she's pregnant. Well, that's interesting. You are let's, a let's gossip, keep Saffron. Yep. You totally. are a shameless. I'm a storyteller. Gossip. Like, of course I am. <laughs> um, so, um, sure. Uh, should we? Did she? Did she only denote you to get them? Should she just said that she wanted some oranges. If any would like to come along and help, I'm sure that we'd get more, or we'd run the risk of danger less. Well, normally I'm supposed to check on the kids at this time, but after this morning, and I think you might have done that. I might be free. I might be able to. I, I feel like I feel like this place has been cramping me lately. Perhaps a, a trip to get some oranges might be uh, might be good. I've been in my I've been in that burrow all winter. Um, this might be a fun time to see what what's out there. Yes, that that actually sounds pretty good. If you wanted to uh, get a snack real quickly, uh, I have some things to tend to. Oh yes, yes, definitely. And uh, with that, he kind of goes off to around the tree, and he's actually gonna talk with the crows. If uh, if he sees one that's able, uh, he's able to talk with. Oh, sure. interesting, cool. Well, and this is where I'm going to bring in the circle of of life feet. Excellent. All right. Okay. Is that? Yeah, man. He actually, he actually so has. So you slip around the tree to talk to the crows. Is there a leader of the crows, or maybe just someone who's more willing to talk to you than the others? Um, one eye. Know, one eye. Okay. Yeah, he's a one-eyed crow. He's just kind of the wisest, or the more, uh, and he's kind of like a wisecracker, if you will. I feel like, I think we established they were ravens, not crows. Oh, are they ravens? Yeah, and I think that, now that you say it, I feel like he's like an Odin figure. He's like this huge raven that somehow has like a little bit of gray, and uh, all of the ravens look up to him, and he, he looks down with his one eye, and he's just like, Sir, I see you survived another winter, Althin. How are you doing? So this is where the uh, the uh, circle of life comes in, and I get to tell a story about how Alfin has dealt with the crows before in the past. Yeah. Ravens. And I'm gonna Still say ravens. ravens. Sorry, it just stuck in my head. Um, so I'm gonna say that. Uh, oh, what would be the best way to do it? I'm gonna say that he, because ravens are so smart and they've learned so much, just kind of like as a widespread thing. Um, like, if you don't know, like, uh, there'll be, uh, a university did an experiment where they put on a mask and harassed a bunch of crows, and then as, whenever they put the mask on, the the ravens would go after him, I believe it was. So, they're very smart and they learn very fast. 
Um, he was uh, actually helped them out one time, and he's known to be useful. Again, his nature. So he's just had multiple occurrences where he's helped out the Ravens and they've helped him out. So he, again, has that authority of respect, but, you know, he's not one of them. You're like the little finger of rabbits, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's what he's made out to be, is I, I'm thinking. Friend. Yeah. He's he's the rabbit friend. I feel like he might be Gandalf. You know, like kind that of. weird traveler no one really accepts, but everyone talks to you. Trouble follows you everywhere you go. Yeah. But there's always, like, a good resolution to the trouble, even though. So, I really appreciate how you helped us get that damn squirrel last summer. Is there something I can help you with, Althin? Oh, I just uh, wanted to know of the area, if you're a flock. Do you know if the oranges have started to fall yet? Oh, the oranges are coming along quite well. The weather has been very good since the snow stopped. Yes, I imagine so. Snow puts such a burden on your home here at the Willow. Althin, there's something you should know. What is it, Odin Father? Sasha was around earlier. Oh, yes. We, we had a little bit of a run-in with him. I was able to get most of our children to safety. He's been making the rounds to all of the burrows. Actually, speaking... uh. Other barrows. I didn't. Uh, I know of a couple of that are not too far from here. But are there any uh, fairly close? None that are close to here, but there are some within the Raven's Flight. It might be quite a distance for you. Many of them you'd have to pass through Sasha's territory. Well, isn't this all Sasha's territory? Well, for the right price, I could distract the fox for you. We're good enough friends. It's something I would do for you. Can I uh, make a roll? Like, just a kind of luck roll to see if he would actually have some type of inkling about the deal between Sasha and... Uh... I feel like you, you would pay attention, right? Because that would... Okay. So that's a... Shrewd roll. Shrewd roll. Six. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. So what happens on a six minus... You still hold one, but you open yourself up to danger. So you can still ask a question on the speak plainly. Oh, no, this was me not trying to get it out of him. This is me if I knew it beforehand. Okay, I feel like you you would still be able to get it through pay attention because you don't actually ask him a question. You ask me the question. Okay, so I, I would be asking for my character's knowledge whether or not the if I knew about... A dealing between the Ravens and Sasha. Oh yeah, you wouldn't even need a, a a pay attention roll for that. Yeah, the Ravens definitely work for Sasha. Okay. They work for everybody. Yeah, it just I didn't know if the other rabbits knew or if the Ravens. Yeah, were trying they to know. Keep hush, Everyone hush. knows. No, the Ravens are are too beaked. Okay. Is there anything else that you need? We might be going to get some oranges. I don't know if you would like any. If you could find any particularly strong wood, I would appreciate it. We are going to be remaking the nest soon. You know, improving the structural integrity. I was thinking of putting out a balcony. If at all possible. Uh, we may not be able to carry a lot back with us, but maybe we could, uh, if we find any If trees... you could just mark the spot for me and tell me how to get there, that would be fine. All of this damn coconut wood and orange trees... They don't have the kind of firmness we need in order to make a proper nest. Understood. Thank you very much, Alden. Or, uh, one eye. Aye. Caw! Caw! Oh, yeah, like, as you're leaving, all the ravens are like, Caw! 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 Awesome. Awesome. I want to cut back to Patches. You're You're approaching the koi pond again with your... Your cool gang of willow lists. The fruit lists, sorry. Yeah, and the fruit lists just kind of, like, let you in between them. And they're just, like... <clears throat> Sparks is like, hey, Patches, what's going on, my man? Uh, just, just going, it's going well. I'm just super stoked. Excited. Still a little bit, a little bit hyper from the encounter with the fox oh yeah 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 you're real yeah. strong patches 
I mean, you might not be as strong as me, but you're still a real strong rabbit. Huh? So listen, there was something really important I wanted to ask you, my man. And then you notice all the rabbits around you stop drinking and have turned to stare at you. Kind of like on cue. And he's like, you don't mind if I uh, ask your sister out or anything like that, do you? Saffron's a real special girl. I assume yeah, my... you don't have an issue with that, right? Um, my my sister is the best, and I think she. Oh she, yeah, she yeah, just, I know, I know. She deserves someone amazing. Are you saying I'm not amazing, Patches? Is that what you're trying to say to me in front of all of my friends? Um, well, you, you've you've never been that sociable with the with with the rest of the rabbits. You've been more. He always keeps. Uh, How keep... would you know, my man? How would you know? You spend all your time up there with the willows, the willowborns. You never come down to my place. Talk to my people. Well, you think you think your sister's too good for me? Is that what you think? You think maybe you're too good for me? Maybe I shouldn't be drinking your water right here. Maybe this water is too good for me. Um. Well, my yeah, my my sister's my sister's better than anyone. She's she's. Um. Can you roll? Pl so here's my question: Are you specifically saying like no, you can't date my sister? Uh, yeah, like okay. like yeah, because like the whole th like he he sort of like he sort of like respects those got the, them for being all scrappy and fighty, but like. He's been told by his sister all the time to keep to stay to normally stay away from them. So he just yeah. he doesn't he doesn't have a good sort of Wow. What they yeah, so they she's like driven themselves he, yet? You stay away from those fruitless and then she's like spending her nights with their leader. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, can you roll plus shrewd to speak plainly with them? Yo, people can be uh, out, man. I'm gonna use plus strength. Oh, because you're a thumper, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Humans aren't the only things that get to be hypocritical. <laughs> oh, a nine. Okay. So, he'll do what you ask, provided you meet one of their demands now. So he's like, all right, listen, that's, you know what? You're real strong. And I'll tell you what. I won't make a move on your sister if you join my crew when we move to take over this place. I could use a strong thumper like you when we uh when we back my uncle. You know, we gotta push on the willow out. And I'm not saying she needs to be the sacrifice, but I am saying she's getting a little old, a little plump. Maybe she's taking up too much space. So what do you say? You wanna back my play for power? You wanna be a snake? Or you wanna be a rabbit? Um, I would, oh, no, I would never join you. I wouldn't, I, um, yeah. I, I want, my sister is going to become the leader of this group and not, and she'll never deal any, with anyone, any, anyone like you. I'm going to go tell Willow. You can tell Willow whatever you want. In the meantime, while you're going to see Willow, I'll be seeing your sister asking her out on a date. Because we yeah. don't have a deal, Patches. So and like, that's so. when that's when the other large rabbits begin like circling around you, and like pushing you with their bodies towards the water. What do you do? Um, I'm going to. Uh, he's sort of going to just like, sort of like says, um, he's going to get into a little, bit, a little bit of a scrap as he sort of like tries to defend himself before. Before, um, before heading out, like he's okay. gonna start, like he's because he's sort of like that's what if normally when it's a fight or flight mode, he sort of he tends to have more of this weird fight sort of. Okay, feeling. cool, excellent. Can you perform the struggle special move? Because you are definitely attempting to free yourself, so you're gonna need a roll plus strong. As these rabbits are bumping into you, they're like, "Hey, man, why don't you respect, respect Sparks? Got respect." Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're definitely free. 
Undoubtedly. Nice. Tell me how That's... you break free of this circle of like six rabbits who are bumping into you. I sort of like um, because I'm sort of short and runty. Like one of the, um, they're like sort of circling me. One of them like goes to push me out, and the uh, and he and I sort of duck under as he sort of slides over me and bumps into another guy and Matrix. Uh, <laughs> and before I get out of there, I sort of like do the bunny hop as sort of like a sort of uh, um, Sparks looks up and I just like go hind lanes the back of it, on the top of his head as I bounce off to, going towards the the Mario. <laughs> just like he just like has these like two prints on his face. It's like okay, so yeah, as you bounce off of Sparks. He immediately starts dashing towards the burrow, and he's just like gonna go see your sister real quick. Up, 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 up. The rest of his crew is kind of confused right now because you you were knocking rabbits into each other, you're jumping over them. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to I'm gonna chase after uh, Sparks because he's he's going for my sister. Yeah. I'm going to serve a light. Okay. Uh, can you make a bolt check? Bolt it. Okay. That's a swift, I think, right? Yep. Big so. Alex Blue, thank you for the tokens. I'm going to try Ooh. to get these on here. As he sort of is a bit of a... Being a runt, he sort of is unable to keep up with this, like, up with sparks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what happens when you... Is there a specific thing that happens when you fail a bolt? Nope. Okay, GM move time. Ooh. All right. I'll tell you what happens, Patches. <clears throat> you have a choice here. You can see as you're running beside Sparks. There's this moment where it's not intentional, but his foot is slipping. And that you have two choices. Either you can try to do the NASCAR draft and pull up beside and around him and beat him into the burrow. But if you do, that slipping foot is going to kick you full in the face. Or you can fall back and let him win. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the I'm going to do the first thing because I'm okay. cause my right. sister is more important than me. Can you mark down that you're taking a scar here real quick? Oh. As you get hit in the face. And when you take a scar, you're going to have to choose one of your character moves or basic moves to lose permanently. You'll no longer be able to do that. What? Yep. One of the basic moves. Um... Or the character move, the special one you picked for yourself. Let's see here. Yeah, this is rough. Um, I'm going to. I'm probably not going to do this. Uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of. Um, uh, get rid of sneak. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's like sort of how. Like, how is getting kicked in the face reduce your ability to sneak? I sort of like. Um, I sort of like my like. He sort of like gets me in the nose a little bit, which like fractures it a bit. So I got like this like, like this like you can you can, you can hear me breathe. So you like. It's hard. It's hard for me to. It's. It's hard. You can't. I can't sneak around because he's just like, "What's that sound coming from me?" It's like, "Oh, it's patches with his with his sort of busted nose." It's like just like a whistle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like. So as you draft past him, he's like, "Hey, man, I'm sorry about that. I lost control. We cool, man." And then you make it into the warren ahead of him. Yeah. Do we wanna? Do we wanna keep going down the patches story, or do we wanna cut to? Uh, Someone else. I'm interested. Um, we haven't heard I from think... uh, Saffron. Yeah, Saffron. Yeah, I'm Saffron. Gonna... What's happening with you? Um. So ultimately, I think uh, I've finished eating or whatever, and I'm trying to go hunt and look around for um Alvin. Because like I'm like oh so we gotta get those ar actually you know what no can I can I can I retro that yeah um while I'm down there can I like bump into the um mother yeah Willow mother yeah. Yeah, so she's like, "Oh, Saffron, good to see you, girl. I, I assume Alton sent you down here, damn fool, trying to walk around, do all sorts of crazy sh stuff. You bring me my orange." What orange? No, I, I didn't hear anything about an orange. What? You need an orange? Mm, I'm gonna th 
thump that boy hard. Yeah, um... Ma normally, if you want oranges in springtime, that usually means you have mm -mm, a little. No! We ain't talking about this, girl. Mm-mm. But... You, no, mm -mm. we don't have enough. No, you ain't old enough, enough to have this space. conversation with me. Oh, really? Oh, it's like, oh, you're going, you're playing that. You're, I'm not old enough. Mm -hmm. I'm more than old enough to have a litter of my own, but I chose not oh, to because no, of you, the size no, of our no. ward is too small. And like Mike's talking over you. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, are like, you, like, are you don't have like basically I'm that, Are you trying to convince yeah, absolutely. her? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That like this. What are you thinking? That like we don't have enough room. Right? I feel like to do this first, you're gonna have to resist panic because she's a bigger, yeah, more true, mature. Too. Absolutely. You look up to her. You live in her shadow. <laughs> Sure. So this is uh, steady. Yep. So. It's it's steady. Ah, okay. seven. All right. Let's see what happens. Um, I keep it together, but I take one panic. You do. You do. And then let's speak plainly. I want to get a close up of some of these. This fox is beautiful, by the way. Fake Alex Blue. That fucking fox. I love how big his tail is too, because I imagine Sasha having this huge, glorious tail. That he's just hitting people with. He's a jerk. Ugh, my, my rolls. My <sighs> rolls are so average. Seven, eight. Okay. She's like, mmm. Okay. Yeah. You think you're old enough to have your own burrow now? Tell me what to do. Tell me. Tell me not to make more children in, in the lack. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love this idea. Um, so imagine, I think, I think she's very, um, like, we don't, maybe we don't have a religion, but we have a sort of, like, cultural icon identity and, like, cult, you know what I mean? And, like, it's very much, like, since the, the old way was it's expected to have as many children as possible every year, right? And it's, like, that tradition is just, you're just blindly following it, uh, you know what I mean? So I'm, like, I'm gonna, like, argue that and, and, in that kind of way. So I'm gonna be like, like you don't, you have to get, like not everything is about the old, the old ways, mom. Like we, we don't, like there are some practical things we have to worry about. We still have to come up with an offering for Sasha. And you're just having kids. You're not even worrying about this. Like what do we do? Is this is this saffron? This character right here, the the brownish one. I think so. Excellent. Everyone should have their own token now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, I gotta make... I gotta figure out something that she wants to offer you. Yeah, so it's like, what can I do to make her realize that, you know what, maybe I'm right? Mmm. That, like... She's like, okay, you want, you want me to let you get some responsibility around here, girl? Exactly. Make sure I don't thump your ass? Well, fine. You gotta stop seeing that, that boy. You think I don't know about that? I know about everything. You think you and Sparks are on the down low? You, mom, shut up! Don't talk about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. You know that boy's trying to overthrow me all winter. Think he get his uncle in here? Get, I'm getting his fur up in my face. You stop <laughs> seeing that boy. I'll talk about maybe, maybe you settling down with a nice rabbit. From God somewhere damn it, Arthur! God. Out of Willow. Oh, you're gonna make me torn between who side am I side on? Shit. Wow, it's like the it's like exactly what Apocalypse World is supposed to do. I know, I know. You're, you're perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, you stop seeing that boy. Maybe I I let you take a little bit of the reins here. Maybe let you drive the Willow tree. Hmm. We'll talk about this later. In the meantime, I'm no. We talk about it right. now. Uh, you do no, what I, I ask, I wanna, girl. I'm gonna storm off unresolved. I'm gonna storm off unresolved. Ooh, mysterious unresolved storm off. Uh, that um, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna get you your oranges, and we'll talk about it then. I need to think. I need. I you need tell to Alton to bring me my damn oranges. Yeah, I'm going with him, and that's all I say. <laughs> yeah. As as she turns, she, she just like turns just to get a face full of uh, of um, patches. Just like I turn the corner too quick, and just like, it's like. Come Oops. crashing into you. Yeah, Patches, what's happening with you? You crash into Saffron. You see Mother Will in the background, and she's like, Mmm, Patches, you a damn fool. 
It's a poppin' shame. And she goes, like, burrow running towards her chamber. And it's sort of, like, fat just, like, with, like, sort of, a, sort of a heavier breathing, sort of, like, Oh, there you are, sister. I was looking for you. Hmm? I look at you. His nose is definitely broken. What? What did you do? Um, I was. Tell me you didn't get in a fight with Sasha. I didn't get in a fight with Sasha. Then what I was... did you do? Your your nose is 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 broken. You know, eight ways to Sunday. What What did you do? I w I was talking to uh, I was talking to Sparks, and he said he was wanting to take to go on a date with you. And I told him that you couldn't, that he couldn't date you. So I, he was coming here to see you. So I decided to start running, and he bashed his, he I, he smacked oh me in the nose God. with his uh, with his paw. So what is? Where is he now? What are, are you okay? Like what? Are you, like all this is happening at once? Like what is with this place and and sparks all of a sudden? Like what is going on? Stop! Like what is? Why? What? Like are you bleeding? It's like it's like it's already probably already stopped a little bit. Oh, like okay. the, yeah. bit, but I, like, I was I wasn't sure like at, at what state was your wound in. So like, okay, I just like what is come on like where is where is Sparks right now? Like what, did you hurt him? Is is Sparks in worse shape? No, I think I think his friends are in a, are in a confused state. I love chipping its face or that he's like oh shit. But yeah. They, they 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 try to push me into the into the koi pond again, but I was able to get away from them this time. I, how many times do I have to tell you stop hanging out with those people? They're not us. And I say that in a, like a very like tribal way. You know what I mean? Probably there's like you say that and you hear like two or three other rabbits down the holes also like repeat. They're like they're not us. Yeah, like, like it's like it's a thing that you guys say like religiously. Oh yeah, one of us, one of us. Well, I'm just I'm just out there just to make sure that you're safe, sister. That that Sparks guy is always looking at you strange, and I want to make sure he stays away from you. You know, patches. You know more than than I, I've been watching over you since you were a kid. I'm the one who keeps you safe. You have the tendency that when you try to keep me safe, we end up both getting in more trouble. Do I have to t remind you of the time of the snake? Two winters ago? You damn near got yourself killed again. Uh, I guess you're right, big sis. I'm sorry. This is like... <laughs> ears, ears, ears go down. It's like no, no, I don't mean it like that. I'm sorry. No, no, you're like I love you. Like you're you're my brother, and and you are you are going to be strong. And is, maybe I just worry about you so much. So the two of you hear the familiar thumping noises that would accompany um, sparks in his Kang oh. showing up. Mm -hmm. You know, you like hear the rhythmic thumping and maybe somebody whistling. And that's when a completely new rabbit comes from above you and down a hole. And uh, it's a very old gray rabbit with uh, one of its ears has been bitten off. And uh, he's like, excuse me, do you know where I can find Mother Willow? Well, girl, you there with the... The strange colored fur. No, you, boy. I'm going to call you Patches. Well, that is my name. Well, very well. You've been named extremely well, young man. <clears throat> now, for your second test, do you know where Mother Willow is? Uh, she just went down that hall. Why? Thank you. <laughs> And he, he pushes his way past you with his enormous bulk. And you can see that there are tons of rabbits just flooding behind him trying to get a look at him. Uh, I have a question for you, GM. Yep. Is this the general? This is major hip-hop. <laughs> awesome. I thought so. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, perhaps there's like a whispering thing of like, is that major hip hop? That's major hip hop, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like it's like rumoring, thundering through the, the burrow. Yeah, I think he comes to the enormous underground chamber where he was speaking, where uh, Saffron was speaking with Mother Willow earlier, and he takes the time to shuffle his bulk and turn around. And he's like, yes, mm-hmm, attention, citizens of the Willow Tree. I am a major hip hop, and I am here to take control of this burrow under the Emergency Wartime Act. I will be temporarily displacing Mother Willow as your emperor. And during this time, we will fight back on the beaches. We will fight back from the Raven Tree. We will fight back from the Orange Fields, and we will destroy the Orange Menace that is Sasha. Are you with me? And with that, can we have like a fade out as we cut to To the break? Yes, exactly what I was hoping to do. (laughs) And we'll see exactly who is with Major Hip Hop. Any uh, any thoughts before we go to break here? Um, also, YouTube, get fucked. <laughs> Nothing that springs uh, to mind. Excellent. Yeah, I'm I'm worried about Major General. I think he's going to cause more harm than good. You mean Emperor Major Hip Hop? Yeah, Emperor now. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll be back in eight minutes, guys. Be prepared for more rabbit stuff.